Hi, I'm Agent Young, and I'm going to show you how to set up your new Microsoft Surface Pro 7 tablet. Here's what you'll need. The Microsoft Surface Pro 7 tablet, along with the included accessories. You'll also need the username and password for your Microsoft account, and if you're using a wireless network, have that login info ready as well. When you're ready to get started, plug your Surface Pro's charger into the outlet, and also into the magnetic port on the right side. Turn it on by pressing the power button, which is the smaller button on the top left. It'll now boot up and walk you through its out-of-box experience. If setting up a computer has been intimidating in the past, you're going to be amazed at how easy this is. You'll walk through a few questions, and then it basically configures itself. In fact, you'll soon hear Cortana introduce herself and start the voice setup process. Hi there, I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. Cortana is your virtual assistant and is available to help you with all kinds of things down the road. During the setup process, you might hear some audio prompts from her, letting you know if more information is needed. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. All right, back to the setup. Start by selecting your location and press yes when you're ready to continue. Here's where you select the right keyboard layout. The default is the one most commonly used in the US, but if you prefer something different, select that instead and click Yes. Add a secondary layout, or choose Skip. Now, if you're not using a wired connection, select your wireless network here and determine whether or not you want it to connect automatically. The default is On. If this is a trusted network you use often, it's best to use the default setting. When you're done, press Connect, then type in your network's password and hit Next. If you have any issues connecting to the wireless network, make sure there aren't any special characters in the name of your network or its password. That can sometimes cause issues. If you're still having trouble connecting, here's something else to try. Some routers transmit two signals, one at 2.4 GHz and another at 5 GHz. If your router has both and it's struggling to connect to one, try the other. When you're connected, read through the license agreement and if you agree, Press Accept. The Account Setup screen will pop up next, and that's where you'll need to enter your Microsoft account email address and tap Enter. If you don't already have a Microsoft account, no worries. Just type the email address you normally use, and the setup will walk you through creating a new one. I already have an existing account, so all I need to do is add my password and press Enter. If you want, you can use Windows Hello Facial Recognition. Using the built-in camera, this feature will automatically recognize your face, bypassing the need to use the keyboard to sign in. To get started, select Setup. Your webcam will now turn on. Look into the webcam and follow the prompts to get this feature set up. If you want, for extra security, you can also create a pin. Enter it here. Verify the pin and click OK. Now you'll be asked about privacy settings. Make your selections. When you're ready, press Accept. You can also decide whether to sync Windows Activity across any of your other Windows devices. If you do a lot of work across various Windows devices, you might want to say yes. For now, I'll just tap No. If you have an Android phone, Enter your cell number if you'd like to automatically sync photos, texts, and notifications. Otherwise, press Next. Your Surface Pro will now ask you about whether you'd like to use OneDrive to back up your data and store files. I'm a big fan of regular backups, so I'll tap Next. Next, you can choose to activate a 30-day free trial of Microsoft 365 or you can get a better value by purchasing Microsoft 365 Family from BestBuy.com. It allows you to share your subscription with five people, and you get all the great premium Office apps, and each user gets one terabyte of OneDrive cloud storage. If you'd like to take advantage of this offer, you'll have to enter your credit card for any Microsoft Store purchases, as well as the renewal after that trial period expires. I already have the Microsoft Office products I need, so I'll just move ahead. Again, Cortana is your virtual assistant, and here you can choose whether you'd like her to make more personal suggestions. I would rather ask Cortana if I need help, so I'll say no, but it's up to you. 
Now your computer will finalize setting itself up with all of the options you've chosen. If you made a mistake during the process, that's okay. You can always change your settings later. And if you can't find the right menu or application, Cortana can help. Once your setup is complete, you'll see your Surface Pro's brand new desktop. Congratulations, you're all set up and your new computer is ready to use. Hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, give it a like. If you have questions, let us know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tech tips from Best Buy. Thanks for watching.